Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the January 2017 Algebra 1 Common Core Regents. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregents.org and click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get started. Here's problem 26. A typical marathon is 26.2 miles. Alan averaged 12 kilometers per hour when running in marathons. Determine how long it would take Alan to complete a marathon to the nearest tenth of an hour. Um, definitely try the problem on your own. See if you got the same answer that we do. Some hints, if you don't do the nearest tenth of an hour, you're going to get a point off. Uh, and so just be careful. Also, a very common error is to do 26.2 divided by just 12, uh, 2.1833 repeating. So to the round to the nearest 10, 2.2 and call it quits because we're done, right? That's not, that's being careless. Of course, they wouldn't give you a full algebra problem and expect you to do that and make it worth two points, right? So not in uh, not in a part two, right? So the thing to notice, this is in miles and this is in kilometers per hour. Uh, so we do, do need to be able to convert from kilometers per, uh, or mi to miles or vice versa. Um, and and th they give us the tools to do it. And we're gonna go over that. First, we need to, to know the formula for uh, either velocity. So velocity is equal to distance divided by time or uh, distance equals velocity times time. And those of us who have done physics will know this equation by heart. Uh, from the delta Q equals R delta T uh, from, for algebra, the change in the quantity, this is in algebra, this is not in physics, this is algebra. The change in the quantity is equal to the rate of change times the change in time. Uh, so that's a, that's a very important formula to remember. So distance equals velocity times time. Let's see if we could do this. We uh, we know we need the time. We have the distance, and we need the we have the velocity. So so 26.2 miles is equal to the velocity, which is 12 kilometers per hour times time. And then the units would then be in in uh in hours right but with the things we need to convert from kilometers to hours let's see what we do we go to our trusty uh test in the formula section it's important to get familiar with this formula section uh and we do have a conversion between kilometers and miles one kilometer is 0 0.62 miles so let's convert that one kilometer uh equals 6 point, uh, 0 0.62 so one kilometer equals 0 0.62 miles OK, so now uh, we're going to multiply this equation. We're going to convert this kilometers to miles. So one kilometers, kilometers in the denominator to cancel out the kilometer in the numerator. In the numerator, we do 0 0.62 miles. OK, so so 26.2 miles is equal to 12 um, times 0 0.62 uh, now this is miles per hour times time. And now we just divide by 12 times 0 0.62. And we're going to carefully use our parentheses. Divide by 12 times 0 0.62. And we know that the horizontal fraction bar is a grouping symbol, but the diagonal one is not. So let's put that here. Uh, let's get this here. So this is 20, uh, 26.2 divided by 12, oops, 12, really? 12 times 0 0.62, okay? And this should be the answer, okay? So 3.52. So T equals 3.52 uh, hours, and we need to convert to the nearest tenth. So, um, this rounds down, so T is approximately 3.5 hours. And there we go, which is actually a pretty impressive time, uh, but it's not it's not elite runner time. Elite runners all the way at the top running like just above two hours. 
uh, both for both men and women. For us regular people, 3.5 hours is actually pretty impressive. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're watching for one of our playlists, hit the fast forward button to start the next video right now. If not, go to youtube.com, search for juantutors.com, click on the name and definitely hit the subscribe button and click on the bell if you want to receive notifications when we post new videos and scroll to the bottom. All of our playlists are going to be right at the bottom. Just click on the appropriate playlist and play all the videos from there. And if you feel like you need a little extra boost with tutoring, go to our website, check out our testimonials. And if you feel like we're right for you, you can click on the contact us link and contact us straight from the page. Thanks for watching.